The review by Fox News of Bruce Orr's Justice Department emails, text messages, and handwritten notes shows that he is deeply connected to the Trump dossier and the scandal over alleged government surveillance abuse. During closed-door testimony last year, the co-founder of Fusion GPS, Glenn Simpson, the firm behind the dossier, claimed no contact with Orr until after the 2016 election. But Orr's work emails conflict with Simpson's testimony, showing contact months earlier. Orr's wife, Nellie, worked for Fusion GPS, the firm hired by the DNC and Clinton campaign for the Trump dossier that was based on former British spy Christopher Steele's research. After the FBI dropped Steele as a source in November 2016, the Republican-led House Intelligence Committee found that Steele maintained contact using Orr as a back channel. In December 2016, Orr's notes also indicate a meeting with Glenn Simpson in Washington, D.C., with Orr writing, quote, Glenn gave me a memory stick. During congressional testimony last month, now-fired FBI agent Peter Strzok was pressed on Orr, whose portfolio did not include Russia, and we also heard more about these connections from Jim Jordan. Bruce Orr's wife worked for the firm that the Clintons hired to put together the dossier. She's given it to Bruce Orr. He's given it to the FBI. It is never supposed to work that way in the United States of America. But, in fact, it did. Your documents also shed light on Steele's activities before and after the presidential election. When FBI Director James Comey was fired by President Trump last year, Orr wrote in his notes, quote, that Steele was very concerned about Comey's firing, afraid they will be exposed, Bill. What's the response from the Justice Department and others on this, Catherine? Well, Bill, the Justice Department declined to comment on Orr, who still works there, but was demoted after his wife's connection to the dossier went public. A lawyer for Glenn Simpson, whose firm was paid by the DNC and Clinton campaign for the dossier, did not respond to our request for comment. Orr can tell his side of the story on August 28th, when a closed-door interview is scheduled with the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees. As you know, they're doing this joint investigation into the FBI and DOJ's conduct during the presidential election.